<laughs> Y'all give it up for Man Lee in the Brighton Bar one time. Mike, Mel, Sean, I appreciate you all. Yeah, appreciate you. Did you ever stick your finger in your belly button and give her a sniff? Mm -mm. You know, just to see where you're at. Mm -mm. You, know I mean? <laughs> you know you were poor growing up when the first time you had whole milk. You were like, wow! College is great. <laughs> they got walls and shit. Y'all rich folk, you had to hold milk growing up? Why'd it go from no milk to 1% to 2% to all percent? Like, they just got tired of giving it. I don't know how it worked. <laughs> Do you ever get to driving by a gal? You know, you get to wave and... And as you approach, wish you could take that shit back. You know what I mean? Like she went from soccer mom to soccer cleat, like quick as a motherfucker. <laughs> Had a couple snaggle toots. Looked like a pair of Deodoras. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a descendant of Orville Bedenrocker. Uh -oh. uh -uh. that, that ain't the popcorn guy, that's the. Orville Bedding Rocker, you know, knocking the bottom out of bitches, fella. <laughs> That's my kin folk. <laughs> Any of y'all ever been a surrogate dick for some lesbians? Almost. Uh -uh. <laughs> Man, you're missing out. It's a hell of a time. It's a hell of a time. You know what I mean? Like every other Tuesday. <laughs> Except during softball season. That shit is off limits. <laughs> they take that shit serious. Not that slow pitch either. They got that fucking shit. <laughs> fucking lesbians love that shit. You ever see two really ugly lesbians getting after it? You're like, you know what? This really is a dog eat dog world, isn't it? Oh, that's the one that gets you? Mm -hmm. That's the one that got the sphincter clenched up, right? Like that. <laughs> this is my clean shit this year. Fellas, you ever go out to the club? You know, you start putting that swagger on a hot chick. You take her home with you. You wake up next to Mrs. Potato Head. What the fuck is going on? She got one eyelash stuck to your pillow. <laughs> the other one just barely hanging the fuck on. Just fucking flapping in the breeze. She got that whole Kardashian kid of makeup smeared across your sheets. Got a little bit on the window because you're freaky. You pinned her up against that silly bitch. Half her titties in the bra on the floor. What the fuck is... <laughs> And y'all ever think like, damn, my girl kind of looks like Magnum P.I. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. You know, like when she's deep throat and she runs out of real estate and your pubes, they get to looking like a mustache. <laughs> Some Magnum P.I. shit. <laughs> y'all know I only, I only date the skinny gals. You know, in case I ever have to hide a body. <laughs> Don't want to have to lumber, you know, trying to get rid of her. <laughs> Bert and Ernie. Y'all hear about Bert and Ernie? Anybody carrying on about Bert and Ernie? Are they gay? Aren't they gay? Are they gay? You know, I thought all the Muppets were gay. Right? You can only have a hand up your ass for so long before you start to like that shit. <laughs> I think we're all overlooking, you know, just how rapey Miss Piggy was. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that, that bitch was inappropriate, wasn't she? Thank you, Manly. Thank you, Brian Bar. I love you guys.